up a notch, baby. Gravy, let me. Oh, I can sit in. Gravy, let me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new VTW. Yeah! Yeah! VTW! 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 Now, what you see right here is only temporary. There's going to be a lot of changes, a lot of advancements, a lot of upgrades coming soon. So just bear with us on that. But we are so glad to be back here in Claremont, North Carolina with VTW Wrestling. Yeah! I'll say it again. We're going to be building this thing from the ground up. Another thing that we're going to kind of change around a little bit is the name VTW. Now, over the years, we started this in 2007. Started out as Violent Trampoline Wrestling. Ooh. I like trampolines, but then we merged into vintage technical wrestling. Hey! But now, after all the adversities that each and every roster member has faced, all of the trouble that we've had over the years, I think it's fitting that VTW stands for Versus the World. Yeah! Versus the world! Versus the world! And now to my last matter of business. As all of you guys know, back in December of 2021, the late great boss man, Avery Hoke, took his last breath. And we do not have a chairman anymore in BTW. So I think it is the best thing to do going forward with VTW to anoint myself as the new VTW chairman. Yeah. I'm going to do this in Avery's honor. I'm going to do everything that I can do to make this place the best possible wrestling company on YouTube. <laughs> YouTube channel. Yeah. Oh. And, uh, you know, Tyler, I'm standing back there and I was listening to everything you said from the, the start to now. The adversity. You're right. It was us. Us and every man who has ever stepped foot in a BTW ring versus everyone else. Yeah. We fought hard. We fought long. We fought together. have a chair. Sadly, Avery passed. And I can't think of anyone better here in VTW than Tyler Aiken to take over. Yeah! Woo! Except me. Oh, oh, oh. oh. You want to talk about adversity? How about we talk about honesty, Tyler? Because for years, Years, every single day, you and your family took every ounce of credit for this company. Don't look at the camera. Look behind the scenes, huh? Look behind the curtain. Who was running this? You don't want to say, right? Who was up late nights every single week booking this show? That's right, you don't want to say his name. Who was the one calling the creative? 
calling the people to come down here to put on the best show possible. Hey, hey, but listen, man. We'll, no, 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 no. Like, we ain't talking about this enough. No, no. Remember who you actually worked for. That's right. It was me the entire time. Never you. Never Avery, that's for sure. Whoa. Hey, 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 hey. You hey. wanted to say Avery carried this company on his back? Well, we were the ones to carry Avery to his final resting place, right? And then you want to come out here and you know what you're going to do? You're going to disappoint him like you did every single time. Why? Because once again, you like my credit, right? But guess what? Who was there for you, Tyler? Who was there for your family? The guy who got no credit. Who was the first person to show up to hospice when he was dying? Me. Who was the first person you called to help carry him to that spot? Me. Who was already sitting at the graveyard to watch you and hold you while you cried your eyes out on the anniversary of his death? That's right. It wasn't anybody else in that locker room. It was me. I'm a little bit tired of things. Because what in the actual hell have you ever done for me? Huh? Let's talk about it, Tyler. We're being honest here. And you better keep that camera rolling because I'll come out this ring and I will beat the hell out of you. Where were you? No, shut up. Where were you and my woman left me, Tyler? That's right. You and my so-called friends said I dodged a bullet, right? Where were you when I needed friends because my child didn't make it? That's right. Too busy. Not caring. Everybody's going to look at me and say I'm the bad guy here. But they need to look deeper than your skin. They need to look in that heart and in that brain and realize you are not the person that you say you are. And that is why I'm here. Because you, sir, you don't have the balls to run this place. You say you want to build it up, what, off my ideas? So you can get every ounce of credit again. No time. So, we have a couple options. One, you can scour away through that curtain. You can tuck your tail between your legs and run because you know exactly what it's going to be like. Or we can do things my way where I come in this ring and I beat the ever-living hell out of you every single chance I get. What's your deal, man? What's my deal? What's your deal? Have you not listened? Just like for 15 years of being my friend, you didn't listen? Your time's coming. In time, Aiken. In time, I'm going to step in this ring. And I'm going to show every single person in the back, everybody sitting out there, and everybody watching on camera, that you've always been a pawn in this game. Remember that. In time. And your time's ticking down. You don't have long. Because soon, they know some facts now. Everybody else will know the rest of the truth. This is my crock pal. You can have it too. Cut it. Cut it. Zach Daniels, what are your thoughts on tonight? Well, look, before I get to tonight, I think I have to address the elephant in the room. <laughs> VTW Rebirth. Man, that was, uh, that was something, wasn't it? We had the skillet song and everything. Rebirth. And then where'd we go? Just like we always do, where'd we go? Well, as you all know, the VTW family lost someone very important to us. And of course, I'm talking about none other than the late, great boss man, Avery Hoke. So we had to take some time. Had to clear our hearts, clear our minds, clear our soul. But now here we are, to honor that great man's legacy. Now the man that won the VTW World Heavyweight Championship is not the same man that stands before you today. I took one good look at that man from a distant view and I swallowed him whole. The man that stands before you, your VTW champion, a lot more mature, a lot more ready to represent VTW, and a whole lot more wild. So, with that being said, that leads me to tonight. Thank you for asking. 
Tonight, I'm gonna do what every new champion does when they have to segue into a small feud. I'm issuing an open challenge. So anybody in the VTW locker room, far and wide, new, old, doesn't matter. Anybody willing to step up to the plate and challenge wild man, Zach Daniels, for the VTW World Heavyweight Championship. Well, I look forward to seeing you out there. And I hope you're as excited as I am. Oh, I am. Let's get Zelda. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for a one fall. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are back at VTW New Horizons. I am Orval Miguel Galau, joined alongside my broadcast partner, Boss the Sauce Bigsby. And Orval, I am excited to be back. I have been unemployed for so long, and now we finally have a job again. We have job security now. Now I'm so excited for this. That's right, baby. We're back. Job security, Orvel Miguel Galel, boss, the sauce, makes me, and we're here to call the amazing action that we're about to see between none other than Ecstatic and the man about to make his way through that curve. Let's go! And here's our opponent. This I am so cold right now. Seriously, so cold. Ladies and gentlemen, this is none other, you heard it there, Zach Zander returning to VTW. We've seen these two men wrestle before in our brother promotion, DBW. We also saw these two men wrestle in a fatal four-way match at Christmas Chaos alongside Kao Mari and Brandon Castelli. That's absolutely right, boss. And every time these two men step in the ring together, it is nothing short of incredible. Ecstatic, Zach Zander, two of the best upcoming talents here in VTW. And boss, I'm damn excited to see what they put on. I'm super excited. I don't think that there's no better way that we can kick off this new era of VTW with these two superstars. These two superstars, they have it all, honestly. Absolutely. They, I mean, these two are going to put on a banger of a match. I'm going to take it, I'm going to hit him with it, and then I'm going to shove it up my ass. Oh, <laughs> boss. He's going to... Huh? He's huh? going to what? I, I'm not going to repeat what he said, but... He's going to do some vile things with that headband. Yeah. Uh, if I was Zach Zander, uh, I, I wouldn't be smiling and laughing if I was him, if Ecstatic is going to do stuff like that. See, boss, I think these are the mind games that Ecstatic plays. You you heard very clearly what he said. What, what are you yeah. thinking right now if you're Zach Zander? Well, as you saw... And as you heard, the bell has sounded, and we are going to get a handshake. It seems like this match is going to get underway. Let's see the first lockup of this new era of VTW. That's right, baby. We are back. VTW versus the world. Here we go. Collar and elbow tie up quickly. Taken over by Zach Xander there. Standard yeah. wrist lock of line. <laughs> Ecstatic with a beautiful reversal. Have you ever seen anything like that before, boss? Nope. Well, I, well, I mean, I would be lying if I said I haven't, but Zach Xander trying to get out of there, trying to elbow him, it seems like. Um, they're struggling there. I would expect nothing short of these two men to start this match up just like this. Both men have a very technical background. Both men very intelligent in the ring. They know exactly what they're doing. Drop toe hold. See, this is the experience of ecstatic taking over right here. Look at him chomping like Pac-Man. Oh. Can we can we see it? Here it is, boss. You know what this is. Gator rolling. Gator rolling. Gator roll by Ecstatic. More mind games. More mind games. He's getting in the head of Zach Zander here. Zach Zander, what what are you thinking right now if you're Zach Zander, boss? Well, I know what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to escape Ecstatic. And just imagine the impression that these two men are gonna make. Roll up! Only a two count. Like I was saying, Orville, just imagine the 
just imagine the mindset of these two men because these two men are kicking off this new era of VTW that we are having. That's absolutely right. This is the first thing we're seeing back. Oh, oh my, what's happening? Oh, boss! Hey, wow, ladies and gentlemen, what an incredible moonsault. We're going to take a look back at that here right now. Oh my gosh, just look at that. Beautifully executed moonsault to the outside of the ring by Zack Sander. I'm telling you, these two men are wanting to make an impression here at this new era of VTW. That's absolutely right. And this, that, I think that was the move Zack Sander needed to hit ecstatic with the mind games. This early on in this match, Zack Sander has to hit something big to make ecstatic get in his own head and say, oh my, this man might have me. This man has my number. It's like Zack Sander running into the corner now. Oh, misses out of the way. What could ecstatic be setting up for? Oh my God. My God. Beautiful slide through German suplex there by none other than the silver standard ecstatic. Only earns him a two count though, boss. But that had to take a lot out of Xander. How could it not? I mean, you saw the impact on that. And what beautiful execution there from Ecstatic. And that's what makes this man the ring general. That is what makes Ecstatic the veteran in this matchup. He knows where he is in the ring at all times. Do you think Zach Xander has that experience yes, boss? I don't think he quite has the experience yet, but he is a hell of a competitor, and this match might have just taken a turn for the worst, but Xander just, Xander just ran right into ecstatic and ecstatic climbing to the turnbuck. Oh! Flying uppercut there by Zach Xander. Ecstatic on the top rope. This could be very dangerous. Oh, no. What could they be setting up for here? Oh, no. What is, in, what is going through the mind of Zach Xander? Remember, he is the extremely great wrestler, and he is about to have an extreme move up. Oh, oh my gosh! Top rope Frankensteiner there by Zack Zander to ecstatic, ecstatic, exploding. This could be the turning point of the match. This could be the turning point of the match, Orbell. Oh, my God. Boss, I absolutely have to agree with you. That was the move that Zack Zander needed to get the upper hand on ecstatic here. Now, does he capitalize on it? I, it looks like he it looks like he is. If I if I was Zack Xander, I would be going for the cover right now. Absolutely. That could have taken ecstatic out. Absolutely could have. But here we are, the referee, senior official, little Debbie, with the double down count here. Xander trying to get the crowd back into this match, which if the crowd is out of this match, they're on drugs. Absolutely. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that right now. How could you not be into this match? What a way to kick off BTW. It's been hard hitting, it's been fast paced, it's been high flying the entire time. Everything BTW is known for. Zack Xander now looks like he's making a little bit of a comeback, boss. Zack Xander looking like, yep. I mean, he's, he's making his comeback. Could you imagine Zack Xander winning the first match back here? at New Horizons, the new era of VTW. He will submit his name in VTW history. What an amazing, what an amazing feat that would be for Zack Sander. Up, he's gonna go up. Again, let's go up, let's go high risk. He just better watch oh out, my. watch out. Oh, Sander with that top rope, off the top rope, flying uppercut. No, oh, only a two count. Boss, what Xander, is it going to take? Xander's going to have to whip out the kitchen sink. He's going to have to whip out the kitchen sink to beat Ecstatic. Well, when you think about all the things Ecstatic has done in this company, when you think about all the things Ecstatic has done on the independent scene, I think you're absolutely right. Like, I don't think there's anything else Zack Xander can do. He's going to have to whip out the kitchen sink. He's looking for ecstatic. that sliced bread. But, oh, oh come on! Ecstatic catches him in midair. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Boss, I know what he's going for. What could he be? Oh, my gosh. Uh-oh. And stop there. What? There's oh. the bell clap by Ecstatic. Can we be looking for the pump handle? Oh! Pump handle. Oh. Xplex by Ecstatic. Jesus. Boss, could that be it? One, two, three. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, it's all over. 
box. Like, oh my gosh, I my heart is pounding right now. I, I have been on the edge of my seat this entire match. Boss, what an amazing matchup. We just witnessed ecstatic walking away victorious in our first match back versus the world wrestling. Orville, let's take a look back at some of the great highlights in this match. My oh God. off the top rope. Oh my gosh. It, Zach Sander throwing caution to the wind there. Top rope, Frankensteiner. And then this uppercut off the top rope. Jesus. And then, of course, what finished the match off here? Ecstatic with that pump handle. Xplex, the core strength that man has to possess to whip off that move. This, oh, this match, this was, I'm speechless. What a I'm speechless. spectacular match here to bring back versus the world wrestling and, oh no. Uh -oh. Could we see more here? Could we see more, boss? Well, let's see what comes of this. Uh, seems like Ecstatic was trying to show a sign of respect to Zack Xander, but uh, there, there we, go. we go. That's what we like to see yeah, here, boss. baby. That's what we and like to see. Ladies and gentlemen, let's just re remember that coming up next, oh, wow. after these messages, we are going to have the rematch. Jacob Ryan taking on D-Log. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to take a quick look here at some exciting things coming to the BTW channel, and we'll be right back with more action. Zach, we're doing the damn thing. But while we're actually here today, is all things BTW. We're bringing BTW back, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, but nothing ever really felt right. Maybe some ups and downs. Good times, bad times, sad times. Uh, why would it, here's the thumbnail. Question mark? Here's the coolest thing. Podcast, boss! Let's not talk about this Ladies right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, Jacob Ryan! One more round with the outlaw. This time, I got a plan. Ladies and gentlemen, Jacob Ryan making his way to the ring to face none other than the man that he faced at VTW Christmas Chaos, the outlaw, d -Lark. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, D-Lock obviously getting the upper hand of Jacob Ryan at Christmas Chaos here, but Jacob Ryan says this time he has a plan. Boss, what do you think that plan is? I'm not too sure what Jacob Ryan's plan is, but let me just, I mean, I, I, gotta, I gotta put this man over for a second. I mean, he has quickly became one of the top names here in VTW just over the past two shows that we've had last year actually i absolutely um, agree with you boss how can you how can you deny the dominance jacob ryan has showed in the ring i mean for god's sakes the, the man opponent. almost won the vtw championship he did came down to him and zach daniels zach daniels ultimately defeating him for the world championship And boss, I have chills running down my spine right now. Every time this man walks through the curtain, the mood changes. It really does. That is none other, ladies and gentlemen, you heard the introduction. This is the outlaw, D-Lock. One of the most intense, one of the most fierce competitors versus the world has ever seen. This man started out back in, what was it, 2016? 2016, Facing boss. one of VTW's resident mask uh, characters, High Voltage. And what a long way this what, man I has mean, came since then. Multiple time YouTube champion. And boss, one thing that really surprises me so far is how calm and collected d -Lock is. Because let's not forget, in their Christmas Chaos match, d -Lock ultimately got the upper hand, but Jacob Ryan viciously attacked. Oh, man! Speaking of viciously attacking, d -Lock now, d -Lock getting his revenge from Christmas Chaos. What I was going to say is Jacob Ryan viciously attacked d -Lock after that match, and now d -Lock with the upper hand on Jacob Ryan, hot and heavy, out 
out the gate here, VTW New Horizons. You can definitely tell something has been brewing between these two men. I mean, they've had almost a year to sit back and think about all this stuff that's happened. And think about, think about the feelings these two must be feeling right now. They had that much time, that much time, boss, to settle this, and it's still this much animosity. D-Lock, I mean, he is giving it. Hey, I mean, he is trying to just torture Jacob Ryan right now. Oh, God, it didn't sound like he just snapped his fingers, boss. Oh, no. You, oh, my gosh, but he's still got a hold of those fingers. Hang on. No, no, no. Big. Stop, stop, stop. No. Oh. Oh! Oh! Yes. He's gonna have to. Oh, those fingers are gonna be in stints after this. Those fingers are definitely broken. There's no way that they're not. D Log has taken it to Jacob Ryan in the in the very beginning of this matchup here. And now Jacob Ryan going back to D Lock. I mean, I mean, whenever these two men first stepped in the ring with each other at Christmas Chaos. I mean, I, I didn't think that it would be this much animosity between these two guys, but these two men have surely formed a feud. Absolutely. Look at Jacob Ryan, the ring general there. Jacob Ryan sliding in to break that count, giving him some more time. Adjust those fingers, adjust the back, get his bearings together. And this is what Jacob Ryan is going to have to do if he wants to be successful against D-Lock here. Oh, Kicks him. You, that rope came up, hit him right square in the gonads and in the face too. The two worst places to get hit at. Boss, there's a there's an old saying, everybody has a plan until they get kicked in the mouth. Oh, oh my god, hang on. Let's see let's see a replay of this. My oh god. Oh my gosh, I I, I want to see this again. Look at oh. that. Look at that. Clean. Beautiful. Ah. Floating suplex there by Jacob Bryan on the d -line. Boss, as I was saying, everybody has a plan till they get punched in the mouth. But in this case, for D-Lock, everybody's got a plan till they get kicked in the mouth. That yeah. vicious kick to cut D-Lock off that as he entered the ring. But with, but with the way D-Lock is, I'm surprised that that's not ticking D-Lock off. Because, you know... D-Lock at some points has a short fuse. Well, boss, we have no idea what's going on inside the mind of D-Lock right now as Jacob Bryan continually beats this man down, just kicking him in the midsection continually, wearing D-Lock down. And I think this is the mind game. This is the, this is the game Jacob Bryan is going to play. He's going to continually ground and pound this man to keep him off his feet. Jacob Bryan proving to everyone that he is the man around here, that he is a man to be feared. Look at him there, stomping on the neck. Get off him. This is the dominance Two, boss that I was talking yeah. about earlier. We have seen Jacob Bryan only a few times here in VTW, but he's made an impact every single time. For sure, Jacob Bryan making his debut at um, Where's your outlaw popular, now? popular demand. Where's your outlaw? BTW popular yeah. demand. That's absolutely right. Face the great Johnny Ryder. And now D Lock here, uh, or Jacob Bryan here against D Lock. Stiff right hand to the jaw. Jeez, another one. Knocks D Lock clean on his back. And boss, if you're D Lock right now, what are you thinking? What's it going to take to get the upper hand here on Jacob Bryan? Oh, uh, well, first off, he's going to have to get some air in him because Jacob Bryan strangling this man with his knee. That's right. Jacob Bryan, the dominance on display for sure here. The animosity between these two men has definitely boiled over, and now here we are. New Horizons, and on, Jacob Ryan just toying with D-Lock here. Just toying oh. with him. Oh, D-Lock showing some fight. Showing some fight that everybody knows that he's got him. Oh, my God. Shoo. Jacob Ryan just saying. You tell what Jacob Ryan just said? What'd he say, Bob? He said, uh-uh. That's exactly what he said. But it only earns him a two count, boss. And now... Ah. Armbar, traditional ah! top trying wrist lock to, there. Yeah. Trying to dislocate ah. that arm right there. You can see the pain in D-Lock's face. Yeah. 
Jacob Bryan with that yeah. traditional top wrist lock applied here. D-Lock has to find a way to work up and out of this. Do you think both are possible, boss? Ooh. I'm not sure. Jacob Ryan, the Ooh. bigger man in this match. D-Lock fighting back. Ooh. Oh, shoot. Did you see that right hand? Ah. Oh, Jacob ah. Ryan to the eyes. Jacob oh, no. Ryan. Oh, Plants my him. God. Planted him like a new tree in the ground. Yeah. Did you see the way D-Lock stood no. on the top of his head? No. But D-Lock still has... Still has that resilience, still has that fight, kicks out at two. Jacob Bryan wondering what he could do to keep the outlaw down. My God, boss. This has been a hard-hitting match already. We're not even that far into this match, and D-Lock and Jacob Bryan have both taken it to each other. Oh, my gosh. Kicking him out the knee, and now hits him again. What could, what could he be setting? Uh-oh. Yeah! You know what this is, Orvale. Oh, oh, ladies and gentlemen, oh, this, of course, is none other than the classic yeah! Texas Cloverleaf yeah! applied yeah! professionally Look. by Jacob Ryan. Yeah! Let's see if the outlaw can make it to the rope. Yeah! And, and he does. does. Oh, right. He yeah! makes it to the rope. And ladies and gentlemen, coming up later tonight, we have Aaron Jones in action. And also, Orvale, we have Zach Daniels BTW World Heavyweight Championship Open Challenge. Lord have mercy, the possibilities are endless on who could who could answer that open challenge. But Jacob Bryan here, still taking it to D-Lock. Uh, oh, boss! A cutter out of nowhere. D-Lock delivering the moves that we know that he does best out of nowhere. Because you know his, because you know the move that he usually finishes off people with that shotgun kick. And now elbow oh. off the top rope. Beautifully executed oh. elbow drop there. Oh. And oh. his foot on the rope. Like I was saying, Orville, D-Lock can hit you with a giant move out of nowhere at any point in time. Absolutely. D-Lock known for that infamous shotgun you. kick, which comes, like you said, boss, out of nowhere. And boss, I think that cutter may have been the opening D-Lock needs to get the upper hand on Jacob Ryan here. He may be getting his butt handed to him right now, but he's certainly got a lot more fight in him right now than he has. For sure. You can definitely tell Jacob Ryan is slowing down after that, but oh my God, I may have spoke too soon, man. I mean, he's, he's just... He's drilling D-Lock right now with those forearms. And now, D-Lock with the headbutt. Woo. Boss, a vicious headbutt there by D-Lock. My This God. match right here is so unpredictable. Like, every time I say something, it seems like these guys just go the other way. That's absolutely right. You never know what to expect here in Versus the World, and especially when D-Lock and Jacob Ryan are in the ring. D-Lock's, I mean, it looks like D-Lock's saying they, it's going to be over. Could D-Lock be looking for that shotgun kick? Oh! Did you see? Jacob Ryan pulled the turnbuckle pad down. D-Lock just smacked his head right into that bottom metal turnbuckle. The ref didn't see it. The ref didn't see it. Oh, no. Look, the ref placing that back. Oh, no. No way. No way. Oh, Jacob Ryan hitting the crossroads. Could that be it? Could that be it, boss? Oh, my God. D-Lock's lifeless. My God, boss. There it is. There's the bell. Jacob Ryan has walked away victorious after D-Lock hitting his head on that bottom metal turnbuckle. Referee oh, didn't see it. My God, what a hellacious match that this has been. Let's, let's take another look at some of the major highlights that happened in this matchup. I mean, just a twisting suplex right there. There was a cutter out of nowhere. This match has just... Oh my god, and that was the exclamation point. I told you, I had a plan for the outlaw. This time, he just wasn't good enough. Ladies and gentlemen, Jacob Ryan. He's boss, I gotta give it to him. He came into this match and he said he had a plan and he damn sure had a plan. Whether it was a cheap plan or not, it doesn't matter because look who's standing tall. That is Jacob Ryan walking away victorious. Jacob Ryan taunting D-Log now. I don't, I don't 
think this is over. I don't think this is over by a long shot. Look at D-Lock here. D-Lock, one and one. Fox, one and one. It can't be over. D-Lock has a victory. Jacob Ryan has a victory. How do we settle this? There is a reason evil never wins. Because we cannot relish in our own victory. For I have had my ultimate redemption and I still cannot find peace. And it's because I am an addict and my addiction is the darkness. My addiction is the pain that I cause others and I will not be satisfied until I destroy everything and everyone that I see with my own two eyes. And I will be so happy in the process. Long live the Supreme Leader. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Currently in the ring, Fuego Del Mephisto! Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. And Mephisto, VTW, long timer here in the ring. You hear that music? Oh, no. This is one man I would not want to play around with. Boss, especially right now. This During the beginning of the show, it seemed like Aaron was coming out to congratulate Tyler on continuing BTW in his image, but oh my god, but Aaron has some choice words to say for, for Aiken. I, I, I was blown away. Boss, it was a, uh, a very intense, it was a heartfelt altercation, I'll say that much. And uh, if there's one thing I know right now, boss, it said, I would not want to be Mephisto right now. And Aaron Jones, you can tell he's not worried. Look, he, I mean, he didn't even bring his gear. Oh, my God, ladies and gentlemen. Spearing Mephisto out of his boots. Flipping spear by Jones to kick things off. And look at the confidence of this man. He's wearing Crocs. Jones is wearing Crocs. Jeans. Uh, Oh! Boss! He just picked my face up by his head! Oh, it's over. Dude. It's up. <gasps> Boss. No. What? What, Boss. A, what a despicable man. What a dis. Boss, what the hell has gotten into Aaron Jones? I don't know. I mean, oh. oh my gosh. I don't think. Oh my god. Boss, he's, if, he's like a cat toying with this food right fun. now. If I had any advice for Mephisto, it would be that he doesn't need to be playing around with Aaron Jones. Mephisto needs to get... Oh, no. Boss. Boss! Oh, my God. The ultimate burial by Aaron Jones. Oh, no. And now he's... Oh, my God. He's choking him out. He's got him at the Kata Hajime there. And Mephisto taps. That's it. That's it. That's it. Boss, That's my it. God. Oh, oh, my God. Yes. Mephisto's fading. Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones has just beaten Mephisto in record time. That may be the shortest match in BTW history. It could be. Oh, oh, oh no. no. Wait, hey. Jones, the match is over. The match is over, Jones. What is he doing? He's, he's got him locked That's in that Kata Hajime again. What has went through his mind just in this year that we've been off? My God. A lot of stuff has been boiling in Aaron Jones' mind, and as you can tell, it's coming to fruition right now. He just shoved the senior official Little Debbie out of the way. Tyler's calling. Stop it. Stop it. What the hell? You tell him to announce me the right way. The real boss man of VTW. Oh, come no. on. You do it. No. Come you on. do it. No. 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 John. No. Do it. Oh, come no. on. That's no. Little Debbie. Hey, you leave Little do Debbie it. out of this. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of this match, 
He is the real boss man of VTW, Aaron. Oh my God, Orville, I, I, I don't, I don't even know what to think. Just the disrespect and just the. Aaron Jones is just spitting everyone's face right now. The, look at the dominance displayed in these replays. And then he has the nerve, the nerve to go after senior official Little Debbie. What the hell, boss? Love. It gives us many things to be thankful for. It doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be true. Love isn't something you find, it's something that has to find you. But let's face it, love sucks. Each of it is. Love sucks. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to VTW. I'm here with Ecstatic. Ecstatic, you won your match earlier tonight, and I was just curious to where you plan on going from here. You know, VTW has not always gone the silver guy's way. I've done everything I can. I've done about everything there is to do in the yard, on the independent scene. There's a couple things I haven't done. Number one, I haven't been the YouTube champion. Number two, I haven't been the VTW world heavyweight champion and you know what to me that sounds like a very very great goal but you know there is a little bit of a problem because who's better than zach daniels let's be real who's actually better than zach daniels i don't know i'm always telling people they don't have standards but zach has always been the best hasn't he Thank you. Oh, boss. Oh, boss. It's that time. Do you know what time it is? It's main event time, baby. And maybe we have a little bit of foreshadowing going on because who better than Zach Daniels? Well, boss, I can't argue with you there because that reason is why this man is your VTW World Heavyweight Champion. This man coming out of the VTW curtain for the first time since he won that illustrious championship. And look at that beautiful championship, boss. That's right. Zach Daniels winning the VTW World Heavyweight Championship at VTW Reunion before we took the short break. And uh, now we're back. And this is the first time Zach Daniels is going to defend the World Heavyweight Championship in none other than an open challenge. Boss, the possibilities are endless here. Absolutely endless. Just think of the countless people that have came and gone in this community. I mean, just the, the sheer star power that could accept this. Ladies and gentlemen, Zach Daniels now in the ring, your VTW World Heavyweight Champion. And remember, Zach Daniels said in that interview earlier tonight, he doesn't care who it is, whether if, it, whether if it's an old foe, a new foe, someone brand new that we've never seen before. He, it doesn't matter to him. He just wants to start off VTW on a new foot, defending his World Championship. That's right, boss. Zach Daniels has that fighting champion mentality. And now we're going to see who's going to answer this open challenge. Orville, I'm not really getting this music that's playing right now. Boss, I'm, I'm puzzled right now, boss. Who? Me too. Like, I'm, I'm in the booth right now. I have that same exact expression on my face. <laughs> oh, no. Is mine. Boss! Boss! Oh, no! Do you know who this is, boss? I know who this is. I, I, I'll let you describe it better than I can. Oh, my boss, I have chills going down my spine right now. 
This man is none other than the ghost of Daniel's past. The prophet of purgatory. This is Mr. Judgment Boss. Oh my gosh, remember these two men squared off in a banger of a match at best in the yard five. And Boss, Mr. Judgment ultimately walking away victorious in that amazing match at best in the yard five. And now here he is to answer Zach Daniels' open challenge. Boss, do you think we're gonna have a bitty five repeat? We're, uh, well, with the way that Zach got dominated, absolutely dominated in that in that bitty five matchup, Orbell, I'm I'm scared to say this, but we might be walking away. We might be closing this show out with a new VTW World Heavyweight Champion. Boss, could you imagine the picture, Mr. Judgment, the VTW World Heavyweight Champion? He would be the first ever superstar in this community to win both the VTW and DBW World Heavyweight Championship. That's absolutely right, and what an amazing accomplishment that would be for Mr. Judgment Ladies here. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the VTW Heavyweight Championship. Yeah. Introducing first the challenger. He is the prophet of purgatory, Mr. Judgment. The gods are with me on this day. And his opponent, he is the reigning and defending VTW heavyweight. Champion, Wild Man, Zach Daniel. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, the in-ring introductions there, Mr. Judgment, Zach Daniels, VTW World Heavyweight Championship on the line in your main event to VTW New Horizons. Boss, what do you think is going through the mind of Zach Daniels right now? His mind has to be racing. If, if I was in Zach Daniels' boots right now, well, quite frankly, I wouldn't be in Zach Daniels' boots right now because I'd be out of that ring so fast. You wouldn't even be able to see me running away from that ring. Well, boss, this is what you have to expect. Zach Daniels issued the open challenge. He had to be ready for anybody and everybody to accept this open challenge. And now it is the ghost of his past. The one man that haunts him, Mr. Judgment. And you, and you, you, you wouldn't you heard just Mr. Judgment just now. He said he's going to wipe the floor with Zach Daniels. Just like he did at Best in the Yard 5. Just like he did back then. But, boss, we also have to think, Zach Daniels is not the same man that he was at Best in the Yard 5. I mean, take a look at him. You can obviously tell a difference between them. This man took a lot of time. He, he looked at himself and said, I don't want to be this man anymore. This man turned himself into the VTW World Heavyweight Champion. He took himself seriously, and this is a different man we are seeing in the ring. We are looking at wild man, Zach Daniels. Zach Daniels definitely has came into his own on this long break that we've taken. And this is going to be the first time the VTW Championship has been defended since 2017. <laughs> wow, boss, that's an, uh, that's Bring that's amazing. Back. I didn't know that. 2017, first time on the line here, the VTW Championship. Zach Daniels, Mr. Judgment, main event, New Horizons. And now lock up now. Oh. A show of strength there by both of these men. It looks like Mr. Judgment may have met a match of his. And well, boss, if you remember, best in the yard five, how did that match start off? Zach Daniels, Mr. Judgment locked up. Mr. Judgment tossed Zach Daniels around. And now it, 
And now you can tell Zach Daniels has spent countless hours in the gym working on his physique, working on his size, working on his strength. And that right there is what's going to potentially bring him to victory here tonight. Oh, no. Mr. Judgment may have the better of him right here. Oh, but look. Daniels pushing back. And a break again. But Judgment's had enough. Oh, oh, no! Oh! Daniels with the rolling hangover to start the match off. Daniels with that rolling hangover. Boss, could that be it? If Daniels keeps on him, if Daniels keeps right, on him, keeps on him this match could be over on, quick. Get back in here. Come on. My what? God, ladies and gentlemen, what a way to start this main event. Oh, 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 oh. Daniels now back in the ring. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Oh, grabbed him. Oh! Judgment with that T-bone suplex there. Oh no! Oh, boss, see, that, this is the, this is the same thing. As soon as Daniels thinks he has the upper hand, Mr. Judgment right back on top of him. Daniels walked back in that ring and said, "I got him." Mr. Judgment said, "Uh uh." This is why Mr. Judgment is one of the most decorated performers in, in all of this community. One of the most decorated performers the community has ever seen. And, uh, boss, that could be the reason he walks away the VTW World Heavyweight Champion tonight. That's true. You gotta think, Mr. Judgment, 20 plus years of experience here. 20 plus years. If we're talking professional experience here, it's still 20 years for Mr. Judgment. If we're talking professional experience for Zach Daniels, it's maybe five years. Mr. Maybe. Judgment has an extra 15 years on Zach Daniels. Mr. Judgment knows how to wear down Zach Daniels. I mean, yeah. these two men have been in the ring before, so he knows he knows Zach Daniels' weak, point, weak points. But also, Zach Daniels knows Mr. Judgment's weak points as well. That's absolutely right. What can we see here? Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. no. Scissor oh. kick. Right to the throat. Signature scissor kick. Daniels able, able to power out at two there from that beautifully executed scissor kick by Mr. Judgment. What a hellacious match this has been. What a way to bring back the new VTW with this World Heavyweight Championship matchup. Boss, do you think this is what Zach Daniels had in mind when he issued an open challenge? I'm starting to wonder if Zach Daniels was maybe a little too overconfident going into this matchup. I mean, he, he probably was. I mean, I don't think... I think the least person that he was expecting was Mr. Judgment, if I'm being honest. I would have to agree with you there, boss. Come on, Zach. Yeah, that was the last person on my mind to answer this challenge. But Daniels firing back uh -oh. now. Hits uh -oh. him with that and spinning now. punch. And now, what can he do? Oh, oh, my goodness. God. Damn. Mr. Judgment with that full Nelson flatliner there to Zach Daniels. Stomping away on him there. Mr. Judgment has been in control a majority of this matchup. Boss, I gotta say, things are not looking too good for Zach Daniels here. We may have a best in the yard repeat. We might. Mr. Judgment might be the new face of VTW after this match is over with. What am I supposed to grab? Oh, oh, beautiful. Beautiful right hand into the corner there. Oh, Mr. Judgment has just taken it to Daniels. The entire, the, almost the entirety of this matchup, boss. Oh, oh. Daniels this getting could, some separation. This could be the opening he needs. Oh, out of the ring. On the apron he is. Oh, no. Daniels knows. He's got to go to the top. He could be going for that flying forearm. Oh, oh no. Can't you see? Oh, my God. Oh, the hand of God. The oh, hand God. of God by Mr. Judgment. Let's see this again right here. The hand of God lifting Zach Daniels to the heavens. Beautifully. Beautifully executed move. Only earns him a two count, though. Daniels somehow, some way, still able to power out. Boss, if you're Mr. Judgment right now, 
what are you thinking? Oh, well, the goodness. first thing he needs to do is he needs to focus on Zach Daniels. He doesn't need to focus on the crowd right now. You know, the crowd calling him a calling Zach Daniels the better bald man, and that seems to be getting into the mind of Mr. Judgment. It very well could be. There's so many factors here when you talk about VTW, but it looks like Daniels may have a little fight here in him. Jawbreaker, that could be the opening Daniels needs. Pele! Pele kick! It doesn't take him down though. Big boot. Oh, Daniels with the calf kick, and he's finally brought Mr. Judgment off his feet. Could this be the opening Zach Daniels needs? He says he's gonna go up. Daniels doesn't go to the top rope often. Boss, that's exactly what I was gonna say. This is unfamiliar territory for Zach Daniels. Oh, and it could cost him. What could we see? What could we see from Daniels? Oh! 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 Top rope! Oh, no. Hurricane Rana, but oh, the referee's no. down! Oh no. Boss, the referee's down! Oh my god, that right there could have been the match. That right there could have been the match. Oh no. Let's take oh, another no. look at this. The ref is the ref's taken out. The ref the ref's legs could be broken right there. My God, the referee just crumbled under the weight of Mr. Judgment. And now you see the frustration on Daniel's face, but he knows, he knows he's got to keep going. He has to keep laying it to Mr. Judgment. I don't know if this is a smart move, boss. Should he be picking Mr. Judgment up? Oh my, he's got him up. He's got him up, Mr. Oh but, no. But no. It, oh no. He couldn't handle the what? Oh, oh no, boss. Jesus Christ, boss. The Jesus Christ by Mr. Judgment. Could that be it? He took his head off there. And now we could one, two, three, wait, four, boss. five. Boss, we should have a new VTW World Champion right now. We should have a new champion, but... Wait. Wait a minute. Come on now. Don't be that trifling. Don't be that trifling. Mr. Judgment. He has that cross necklace. No. No, he knows what he's going to have to do to put Zach Daniels away. I'm sorry, Orville. I think you're looking at your new VTW World Heavyweight Champion. Boss, I'm holding out hope here. I'm holding out hope for Daniels. Oh, oh no! Oh no! No! You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me! Judgment slam! It's over, boss! It's, it's gotta over. be over! It's gotta be over! We're about to have us a new VTW World Heavyweight Champion. The referee! Here's the referee! He's back in the ring! Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Daniels with the kick out at two. Daniels with the kick out at two from the Judgment Slam. Last second. He kicked out at the last second. Boss, I don't think that could have been any closer. Did you see how close that referee's hand was from smacking that mat for the three count? Orville, pay attention to Zach Daniels, though. He could, ba I mean, he's he's barely able to hold his head up. He's barely moving, boss. Once again. Oh gosh, I think we're gonna see another judgment slam. Your soul is mine. Here we go. Wait, Daniels pushes him off. Oh, he's got him up. Valley Driver! This is what won Zach the championship! Ladies and gentlemen, that's it! That's it! Zach Daniels has beaten Mr. Judgment here in the main event of VTW New Horizons! Zach Daniels has done it. He has beaten the odds! But, boss... <laughs> whew, boss, let's not forget here. Let's not forget how dominant Mr. Judgment was the entirety of this match. Zach Daniels has beaten the ghosts of his past, but barely. By the barely. skin of his teeth, Zach Daniels has retained the VTW World Heavyweight Championship. And just to Ladies think, and this was his first challenger as champion. Can you imagine what is in store for Zach Daniels' World Heavyweight Champion. Championship future?
Boss, that's a very, very good point. If it was this much of a challenge for Zach Daniels, I can only imagine what the future holds. Let's take a look back at some of these replays of this match, of this hellacious Zach Daniels championship. Starting the match off with that rolling hangover, but only to be met by more dominance by Mr. Judgment throughout the entirety of this match here. Golly. A hand of God and boss. The Jesus Christ, but it only earned Mr. Judgment a two count after that beautiful Judgment Slam. Daniel's finally able to walk to win this matchup with the Death Valley driver. And boss, like you said, I can only imagine what the future has in store for Zach Daniels. And uh, well, hey, speaking of the future, boss. Our next show, the main event of our next special event, Love Sucks, will be a Love Sucks street fight between Jacob Ryan and D-Lock. Maybe that will finally settle the score between these two men. Boss, we were definitely right. One and one. What's it going to take? It's going to be the Love Sucks street fight. But let's not forget, retaining his VTW World Heavyweight Championship, Zach Daniels, and just imagine what Zach Daniels is going to be doing at Love Sucks. Well, boss, I guess everybody will just have to tune in to find out. That's going to be that's going to be the conclusion of VTW New Horizons, ladies and gentlemen. We're so thankful to be back. We're so happy you joined us. Thank you so much for sticking with us through the years, and we'll see you at Love Thank Sucks. You judgment. Thank you, Judgment. Thank you, Judgment. Filthy old man! 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 <laughs> <laughs>